Yo, what is up guys? My name is Jax and we are going to show you guys today how to set up strong spawn soft resets so you can very, very quickly go through them. Now the example I'm going to be using today is my Gorgeist, which I am currently hunting for. Now before I approach it, I'm going to see where it exactly spawns, so then hopefully we can tell the exact same spot that we need to save on. Alright, so as you guys can see, it just spawned on this spot right here. What we're going to do is we're going to quickly do a cheeky little save. Whether you need to do this save at the start or not, I'm not really sure. But we are going to then encounter it. So I want to stay on the spot that I'm on. Uh, so that it makes it easier to uh, remember where I'm at. As soon as I have encountered the Gore guys, you can either knock it out or you can uh, run away from it. I just like to run away from it. That's the easiest one to go to. And then, yeah, once we're done, we're going to uh, go ahead and do another cheeky little save. And then we're going to connect to the internet. So we're going to press the Y button, connect to the internet. And then as soon as we're connected, we're going to go down to Link Battle. So the goal here is to be able to find someone. And then as soon as we do, we're going to uh, hit that lock button so that, uh, yeah, we... Uh, we basically put it into a state of thinking that it's connected to the net, so it should be updated and everything. And then that's where we change the date. So let's go ahead. At the moment, it's searching. I know you guys can't see that behind the little uh, infographic bars down the bottom. But as soon as that black bar pops up that says that we found a trainer, we're going to hit that sleep button. So right now, we hit the sleep button. So I've put the switch to sleep. Wait a few seconds, then we'll start it back up. So, what that does is it uh, disconnects you from the trainer, which it's not the nicest thing to do, let's face it, but uh, it's not like you're going to be doing it very often, and hopefully you don't have to repeat this process. Alright, so the next stage that you're going to do is you're going to save the game as soon as you've changed uh, or got out of that trainer battle. You're then going to go ahead into the settings, go down to system, date and time, and we're going to change it to the next day. Now, if you are dealing with weather spawns, then you might find that you'll have to switch back afterwards. But as soon as you've changed your date, you're going to save the game. And after that, you then close the game. Now, if you want to change it back to the previous day, because that's where your spawn was on, go for it. Otherwise, just head straight back into the game. Because Gorgeist is uh, not weather dependent on its spawn, that means we can just jump straight back into it and we'll be all good to go. So as I'll show you guys here, and hopefully it'll work. Let's see the Gorgeist pop up, and that'll be, what, another two encounters that we can add on. So we're up to 852 so far. But I just thought I'd set it up on this switch because I'm going to quad hunt it uh, while I'm waiting for stream tonight, which will be snap. And there we go. All right, straight into the Gorgeist. So pretty easy. It's always going to be different as well. Um, so basically all you need to do is press that home button, close it up, and then restart it up again. So pretty easy. There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please make sure that you drop a like down below. Hit the subscribe button if you like all the shiny reactions and all the content that you see here. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. <gasps> yes, shiny already. Let's go. They're all under odds. Let's go, man. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Yes. Alright. That is pretty good. I reckon this one's only done about 50 soft resets as well. That's insane.